In this video, I'm going to give you the best tips on how to instantly improve in Ultimate Football. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the first tip I have for you guys is to lower your graphics. How you can do this is you go up to the escape menu by pressing this Roblox button on the left side. And then you click settings. And then you want to scroll down until you see graphics quality. And mine is on full right now. But I want to lower this because lowering graphics will give you less lag. Now my field will look like this. Now one thing I would suggest not doing is lowering your graphics all the way down to 1. Unless your computer or whatever you guys play on can't handle it. Because then you won't be able to see all the way down the field. As, as you can see here, you can't even see the end zone on the other side there. So playing on 1 graphics is not going to be the best for you. But yeah, I would just keep it on like 3, maybe up to 4. But I'd say 3 is probably best if you want the least amount of lag. Lowering your graphics will create less lag for you, which will make you better. And you may not notice this at first but once you get used to these settings and you go back to your old settings you will notice the difference and it will be much better for you in the long run all right so the next thing i have for you guys is to look at my fps at the top left you see how it's 60 fps well we can actually increase that with the new roblox update that just came out so if we go to settings here we can see the maximum frame rate and there's several options here that you can click on so if you click on this you can actually increase it up up to 240 or whatever your computer or device can handle and one thing is is that this will only cap your FPS. This won't increase your FPS, but this will only cap it at a higher FPS. If I choose 240, I obviously can't get 240 FPS because I don't really have a good computer. But I can get up to what my computer can handle. So my computer can handle 140, which is way better than having 60 FPS and your game will feel a lot more smoother. Alright, so the third tip I have for you guys is to go to this menu right here and then click on settings. And then you're going to see on the left side a bunch of different settings that you can choose. Make sure you click on the graphics settings here. Now you guys can notice my FPS at the top left. It's hovering between 130 and 140 right now. And what you guys should do is turn off weather effects, NPCs, sideline benches, referees, stadium fireworks, map background, and stadiums. Now that I've done that, look at my FPS. It's much higher. It's averaging between 150 and close to 170. But now when you look at the field, there's no stadium. And honestly, I think it's much better without the stadium because it's more distracting with it on. So in my opinion, these first three tips are probably the most easiest tips that you can do to instantly improve. And probably the most important tips for you guys as well. Alright, so the next tip I have for you guys is to look at your game settings and to see if you might want to change them. If you want to get to the game settings you want to click the settings button at the bottom right when you're in the main menu and most of this stuff is personal preference but i highly suggest you guys look at this stuff and see if you might want to change anything for example in the gameplay settings you can change your quarterback and how you play quarterback as well as controller settings like your sensitivity and your zoom distance and then there's also miscellaneous stuff down here as well and then you can even change your controls if you're on pc or console and pretty much any control in the game you could change if it's for a quarterback or ball carrier or just general controls and then for your phone and tablet you can move these pads around so like for the phone you can like move your jump button or maybe your block button same with the tablet controls kind of the same thing here and then you can even do the same for like quarterback ball carrier and defense as well so i think this is really cool and i think you guys should mess around with these settings to see what is comfortable for you my next tip for you guys is to never use first person when i play ultimate football i literally never use first person for anything and in this clip it shows you exactly why first person is really bad so as you guys saw there i threw the Bruh. ball but i wasn't sure who was burning so i was just only throwing slants because i just saw him wide open but it was hard for me to see down the field not only that but if someone was rushing from behind me he could have easily tackled me without me knowing now as a receiver you guys saw me look back every once in a while because i was making sure that i was actually burning see if you're in first person you won't be able to tell who's behind you so you could be going far thinking you're burning but then when the qb doesn't throw to you that'll be why because you weren't actually burning overall those are the main reasons why i don't use first person in ultimate football and why you guys shouldn't either just taking this advice alone can make you a much better player Another important tip I have for you guys is to play with friends on Ultimate Football. The reason for this is because you can have someone reliable on your team. But not only that, but if you play with a certain group of friends a lot, you guys can start getting better with each other and become a dominating team. If you're playing with randoms, trust me, it's holding you back. And if you're losing a lot of games, especially in park, this might be the reason why. If you don't have anyone to play with, you guys can join my Discord server or you can join the official Ultimate Football Discord. And there's plenty of people there who are always looking for someone to play with. I'll put both of these links in the video description. 
description. If I were you, I would try to look for someone who has a lot of experience on the game with a high overall, or maybe they've been playing for a long time. I think this is another very important tip that you guys should consider if you want to improve as a player in Ultimate Football. All right, so the next tip I have for you guys is to utilize the practice game in Ultimate Football. Now, there's a lot you can do here, like using toss-ups to improve with the catch timing of the football. And this is even more fun if you have friends as well to play with. So in my opinion, I think toss-ups are pretty good. And then we also have the practice field over here as well, where you can get used to like the powers. And then you can like spawn a ball and throw it around to other people. And then we also have the QB gauntlet here where you can practice throwing the football. And this will help you get better with your quarterback aim. Oh yeah, and I forgot there's also even field goal practice here as well. So that's cool. So overall, if you're newer and want to improve at the game, then this practice area is going to be very good for you. And the last thing I want to show you guys is the playbooks. So you want to click these three dots right here, and then you click on playbooks. And then click on offense playbooks, because defense playbooks don't really matter in this game too much. And then once you do that, you want to make at least one playbook. So you would click this plus button here to make one. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you guys what it does. If you're a quarterback, I would highly suggest making a playbook like this, where you have a bunch of red lines with a bunch of receiver pads going across the field. This will not only be good for you, but good for your receivers as well, because your receivers can get on the pad and get a speed boost. And even if you're a receiver, every time your quarterback chooses a play, you should always be trying to get on any of the pads. That's all I got in this video. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this one, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and have a great day.